I'm Mike the Vegan, and in this episode, the sixth mass extinction. Everybody's talking about it, everybody knows it's caused by humans, but we're all ignoring what we're actually doing to cause it. So we're gonna go around the world and look at what's actually killing all of our little furry and slimy and feathered and various shelled friends. Depending on the source, you'll hear that we're currently experiencing an extinction rate anywhere between 15 to 1,000 times faster than normal. Most people say it's about 100 times faster than normal. It's on par with previous mass extinctions caused by asteroids. The only difference is, this time, we're the asteroid. But everybody is conveniently ignoring what's actually killing the most species, and that is animal agriculture and fishing. Both of them are solely driven by our obsession with meat and other animal products. Now before you bury that statement deep inside, run off, have a hamburger and some fish fries, let's go into how this actually happens. You need to look no further than the hotbed of biodiversity on Earth, which is the tropics. 50 to 90% of all species live in the tropics. And if you're looking on land, that means the rainforests. To emphasize the biodiversity of rainforests, if you look in the Andes, you can measure 1,000 different species of trees within a few hundred feet. In contrast, if you go up to the Canadian boreal forest, you can only find 20 species of trees. Also, back in the 80s, when scientists were looking around Panama, they found 1,200 species of beetle around just 19 trees. But now with our current rate of mass extinction, we're losing 137 plants, insects, and animals every single day from rainforest destruction. We know we've been destroying rainforests for a long time, the problem is our conditioned minds immediately go right to illegal logging and just logging in general for rainforest destruction. But in reality, animal agriculture is responsible for up to 91% of rainforest destruction. Logging comes in around 3%. So with that figure, we lose about 125 species per day just from animal agriculture destroying rainforests. So looking at the broader picture and doing a little bit of math, we can figure that animal agriculture is responsible for about 40 to 82% of all land extinctions just because of the rainforest alone. What about the remaining land extinctions? Well, there's some other drivers like desertification. Here is a worldwide map of desertification showing our hot spots where things are at risk of desertification in red. There are many factors in desertification like the changing rain patterns, but again, animal agriculture takes that dry crumbling cake on this one. Here's a chart of UN data showing what actually causes desertification. The red line is overgrazing, the blue line represents crops, which includes animal feed, and the green line is deforestation, which we just talked about. So again, driven by animal agriculture. Moving on, it turns out a large portion of the extinctions are happening where we can't even see them in the ocean. This time, however, it's our fish habit. It turns out, according to the UN, that we've exploited three quarters of our fisheries, which results in 87% of fish species being either exploited or entirely collapsed. This time-lapse map represents fishing pressures over the last half century, going from blue to red, where red is where the most intense pressure is being put on fish population. But when looking at the ocean, it's important to note that coral reefs are a bit like rainforests in the sense that they hold 25% of all marine life and are really biodiverse but 55% of coral reefs are currently threatened by overfishing and just bad fishing practices. Moving on to the rest of the ocean, practices like trawling and general overfishing have led to species collapse. If you look at this graph of the cod, you can clearly see what happened. Also, the short-nosed herring has seen a 98% population decrease after we destroyed its nursery habitats, and the Pacific herring has seen a 90 to 95% population decrease just from general overfishing. And the list goes on. And there are many reasons to stop eating fish. Quick tangent time. Here's a study showing that women that ate more fish during their pregnancy gave birth to babies with smaller brains. In another study using MRI brain scans, mercury and PCBs in children with mothers that ate a high seafood diet were shown to have strange brain responses to light stimulus and finger tapping. When you tapped on their left or right finger, their brains seemed to be overstimulated in a strange pattern. It's kind of like they were mixing around left and right. They were mixing it up. But hey, at least they got their protein, right? 
All right, back on subject. So what else is causing ocean extinction? Well, that brings me to a topic that I've hardly mentioned until now, global warming. Just so happens that about one third of our carbon dioxide emissions ends up in the ocean. And this creates carbonic acid, which makes it hard for little sea creatures to form their shells. In fact, in the great dying, a mass extinction over 200 million years ago, it's estimated that ocean acidification wiped out 96% of the ocean's species. This brings me back to coral. It turns out that carbonic acid also makes it harder for coral to form. This is called bleaching, which is responsible for 27% of coral reef destruction. This in combination with overfishing is why we've lost 80% of our Caribbean coral and 50% of our Indonesian slash Pacific coral reefs. And don't even get me started on dead zones, which are primarily caused by animal agriculture. If you wanna read about that, links below. The impacts of global warming on extinction are vast and hard to quantify, but how does animal agriculture have anything to do with global warming? Does it? Because of the bias of various scientists, it could be responsible for anywhere between 2.8% of greenhouse gases, according to the Mead Institute. Really? You couldn't have made it a little bit more realistic? All the way up to World Watch's 51% figure. So let's just go with the FAO's 17% figure as somewhere in the middle. So animal agriculture is responsible for a sizable slice of ocean acidification, rising temperatures in general, changing of rain flood patterns, and just general habitat destruction, all of which lead to extinctions. So in conclusion, our meat habit contributes to extinction through destruction of rainforests, desertification, and just a general contribution to global warming, which is also driving extinctions in coral reef habitats. And finally, overfishing is pushing 87% of fish species toward extinction. So what should you do? How can you help slow the sixth mass extinction? Well, stop eating animal products, and you guessed it, go vegan. Thank you for watching.